Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in May, I let you know that Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, could enable BitLock encryption by default, including Windows 11 Home. Because as you may well know, uh, currently, BitLocker is not turned on by default for most devices, including this Windows 11 Home a laptop running Windows 11 23H2. Now, just to let you know now that it does seem that BitLocker is going to be turned on during the reinstallation of Windows 11 24H2, whether you like it or not. And this is going to take place when you do a clean install of Windows 11 24H2. That's when BitLocker encryption will be enabled in the background and that will not just be on Windows 11 Pro, but also on Windows 11 Home, which means then that all your hard drives or SSDs um, that are currently installed on that device will then be encrypted using BitLock encryption. Now, something to take note of is that if you are updating, as an example, from Windows 11 23H2 to Windows 11 24H2 using Windows Update, um, this will not affect devices that are upgrading to version 24H2 using Windows Update. So just take note of that. It's only during a fresh, clean install of 24H2, as an example, using an ISO image file as a simple example. Now, something else to be aware of, as I've mentioned, is that version 24H2 is most probably going to become generally available to the public in late September of this year, 2024, where Microsoft then will enable the BitLock encryption by default. And as you may well know, what BitLocker basically does at the end of the day is it helps secure uh, your device by encrypting the drives um, on that device. And then also you can then save the recovery key and it will save the recovery key to your Microsoft account. Now, um, just another thing just to kind of make you aware of is that while um, the automatic encryption starts during setup, it's only going to be fully activated after you sign in with a Microsoft account. So if you are using a local account, this will not be affecting you. So only Microsoft account users will have this turned on by default during a clean installation of Windows 11 24H2 which means then you will have the option to bypass the automatic BitLocker device encryption by choosing to use a local account, if you don't have one already, instead of a Microsoft account during the initial setup of a clean installation of 24H2. And then obviously, um, if you do use a local account, you will still then have the option to enable it manually after the initial setup in the settings. Now, as I've mentioned previously, um, just uh, something else as a side note, BitLocker could possibly slow down your PC because obviously it will need um, more resources to handle the actual BitLocker operations and it will obviously use a little bit more CPU in that process. And my reason for saying that is because I posted a video about nine months or so ago, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen as well, that BitLocker could slow down SSDs, which I have installed on this device, on Windows 11 up to 45%. And I showed you how to check and actually disable BitLocker if it was um, enabled on your device. So go check that video out uh, if you want more information. But I'm just putting it out there now. It seems that the writing is on the board, like it or not, that um, the BitLocker device encryption is going to be turned on by default during a clean um, reinstallation of Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.